All right, this video is going to cover the basics of setting up uh, data entry and setting up the very basic of settings in Cabinet Parts Pro's version 9. So the first step that we have when Cabinet Parts Pro opens up, you're going to be presented with the screen that you see on uh, display now. We start with the entry of cabinet type, then we have the width, height, depth, and quantity of the cabinet that we want to enter in. Under cabinet type, we have a few options of wall, base, drawer base, and so on. Each cabinet type has its own set of features that are going to be applied to it. So for example, when we select wall cabinet, we see some of these options are not displayed or are not checked, but we do have the option to add a tope kick plate or drill holes uh, for the drawers for a wall cabinet. Not really what you'd want to do, but it is possible to do so. Selecting a base cabinet, we will see that more options are now selected and checked for that particular cabinet. The way those settings are set by default are within the main settings. So if we go to tools, settings, and in the settings window, we have the same drop down on the top left of the different cabinet types. So the idea of what you will do when setting up the settings to be able to produce cabinets the way you would like to build them would be to start at the top of this list for a wall cabinet. And then the features to machine, you would just scroll down and add a checkbox for all of the features that you would like to have set by default for this particular cabinet type. So for the wall cabinet, we are going to be drilling shelf holes by default, cutting the shelves, we're not going to do any fixed shelving, hinge holes, the back dados, and that is all that we have set by default for a particular wall cabinet. Now coming in to the next item in the list, the base cabinet, we see we have similar options checked, only this time we have the drawer holes selected, blind dados, the toe kick notch, a toe kick plate, and a top st stretcher. This top stretcher is the option that is going to give not a full top, but just give a uh, two sections across the top uh, for a base cabinet. Then each of the checkboxes or features to machine I shouldn't say each, most will have a button that corresponds with it. So for shelf holes, for a base cabinet, we could click the button to give us the detailed settings of the holes and how the shelf holes are going to be drilled for a base cabinet. So the spacing is the spacing between each hole and the distance from the top to the bottom. So for a base cabinet, we may want to increase this down from the top and up from the bottom just a little bit. So we're going to go eight and eight and save. This save button is only saving it for this particular cabinet type. The wall cabinet, using the drop down here for wall cabinet, we will see that that is still set at six and six. But if we come back to the base cabinet, and use the save to all types that is going to then make the setting for all shelf holes for across all cabinet types to be the same setting so we have eight for the base cabinet and eight for the wall cabinet as well once you've gone through each of the cabinet types and set up each type to the way you would like to have the cabinets built it is just coming into closing the settings then to enter cabinets we could start we want a wall cabinet that is 30 by 30 12 inches deep quantity one of them here are our options that are going to be applied to a wall cabinet you would add that to the cabinet list that gets added down below changing the cabinet type to a base cabinet we will change the height from 30 to 34 and a half, and we'll go 23 and three quarter inches deep, and quantity one of those, and add. You would continue to add cabinets to the cabinet list until you've completed 
entering in all the cabinets for your particular job. Once that is completed, you will click Calculate in Nest. This will bring us to the nesting screen to allow us to have a little bit more detail and control and prepare these files for cutting on our CNC machine. That is the basics for entering in the basic setup within the settings. There are specific videos that you could watch that describe each of the settings in each of the more details of Cabinet Parts Pro and short little video clips.